Hey guys, it's been a while you've seen me code, and today I am going to kind of uh, rectify Kaz's late uh, I'm GUI video. He makes a video where he shows how to make an I'm GUI menu like this, right? Pretty simple. And I'm going to rectify a couple things that he said wrong or did wrong. So first of all, let's go into his video. Here, okay, so here you can see in his win main, his main here, I, I did it in AutoSense, uh, and then in main it's just running the, the main loop in AutoSense uh, .cpp, uh, which this is the name of my project, uh, but that doesn't matter. Here you can see he does SDD thread sleep for chrono milliseconds. Now here, I don't do it. Here, let me explain why I don't do it. So if I scroll all the way down to, uh, where is it? Yeah, to create device, when you create the device, you do present parameters dot presentation interval d3d present interval one. What are you do? What you're doing here is simply doing vsync. So vsync basically uh, prevents you from doing that sleep thread thing. So vsync, if uh, if you guys don't understand what it is, simply vsync will take. Well, we'll see how much hertz you have on your monitor and uh, do the number of F FPS that your monitor has. So if you enable in Minecraft, you will only have 144 hertz because uh, well FPS because you're on a 144 hertz monitor. That's how it works. It's it's pretty stupid and simple. And uh, the fact that he had to put a sleep is kind of stupid. I find that you guys just remove the the sleep. It's fine. This this does everything for you. Uh, but there are other issues. For example, here, if you were to go to x86, um, uh, well, you were to go to x64, actually, and you followed the video properly, um, this would give you an error. And uh, I would like to rectify why it does an error. And this simply has to do with the L result callback. Now, this, as you may see, is a little bit different from what he did in his video. Here, you, should do, you shouldn't do long uh, underscore, underscore std call. This is really stupid. The reason why is because if I go to x86, obviously this will work. I mean, here it won't work. See, it says value type long SED call, whatever. Forget about it. But if I go into x86, oh, it's fixed. Because simply what you want to do, control C. I've seen a lot of people have this issue. Just put this. Uh, it's not that hard. Uh, just put L result callback, all right? And um, uh, one thing I don't feel like is right is because uh they make you join their discord and they say they have the code there but they don't it's to probably because of pacers they did this but lying is not a thing that i like uh specifically with content uh and kaz uh please uh for the promises you've made in your video uh you should probably put the code now i do recommend even though he has said he put the code and everything i do recommend for the people who are following his video to still write everything by hand because you will understand most of the things or at least it, you will feel like you you did everything and that's something you need as a programmer obviously um oh actually let's do it like this uh more of my coding style i actually this i i I should, it, this was just to make it more clear, but this is another criticism I have. In his video, he says we do, we do some random S-H-I-T uh, here, and uh, I'd like to explain that we don't. So here, actually, what we're doing, let me run the program. Obviously, I managed to copy it right and do an X64 because I had to adjust everything. Uh, so it are minor adjustments still, but uh, I won't take all the credit. So here, basically, what we're doing is as long as the position is in this square which, where there's all the blue, so 19 pixels down, and then the width uh, up down here between this point and this point, you will move the window. So if I hold on click here, this is not true, so it will not change the position. But if I'm here and I click down, it will change the position. Pretty cool, right? That's how it works. Not only that, this math here is pretty freaking simple. All it will do is take the, the cursor position and the position on the window and simply uh, it will calculate uh, how it will drag. So uh, if I'm here, obviously it won't, I don't know how to explain this, but if I we didn't do this, I believe the window would, uh, would teleport at zero, zero on my mouse. Uh, so my it would just do cling like that, I believe. But this will make it the the whole thing more smooth, obviously, and it will make it look more like a taskbar. That's that's how that works, I'm, I believe. Now tell me if I'm wrong. Obviously, you can correct me. Now I'm correcting Kaz, so I kind of deserve being corrected. Um, 
Uh, yeah, but this, I believe this simply will calculate the window position with the mouse and correctly drag it with, um, it'll basically calculate where the window has to go because the window doesn't have to go where the mouse is. It has to go to where the mouse is with a certain offset or I, I guess that's how it's, I would say it. I don't know. So yeah, that's all it does. It's simple math. I don't know why he said it was hard. It's not hard. Uh, the hardest part, in my opinion, is all this stuff, this create device stuff, this blah, 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 because it doesn't really make sense. It's, it kind of, it's kind of like theory uh, where you don't see it really happen behind the scenes. It's all behind the scenes stuff. So, yeah. Uh, and then that's all the criticism I have off the, the, his video. Uh, if you guys have any criticism on my video that I just uploaded uh, or some, some sort of comments you want to put, um, go ahead. I, I need to learn as well C++. Everybody, nobody here in the world knows C++. Not even the creator of C++ knows C++ as good because in reality, C++ is a really complex complex language and the creator as the, at this point probably forgot because he's old. No, I'm joking. Sorry, uh, uh, Jarna or whatever you call it, we call you. But uh, our God is becoming old and we have to consider that. A problem because only one person can really know the language. It's a joke. I'm I'm being stupid. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, this is pretty fun. Anyways, uh, now I'll continue on my personal project with uh, this cool I'm Joy frame. Of course, I want it to look like this. And uh, the only way I could do this is by following Kaz's video. So still, so I have to thank Kaz for the video. Uh, yeah, pretty cool.